Hey guys, so this is the next page in our Gravity Falls book three tutorial. So this page is the undead page. Um, so yes, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely shattered right now. So um, apologies. Like that. Two seconds. I have written down everything, but I just like to look at the picture for reference, make sure I do the colours right. So, so I'm going to start off with the right hand page just because I'm not going to lie, it's the easier of the two pages right now, and I want to just ease myself into this page, these pages pretty much. So. See, this part I have to make is actually nicely written for a change. It's, what, with, it's not like scruffy, it's not like in little bits like this, it's actually in lines. So what I'm going to do first actually is there's a drawing, there's a picture here. So what it is, is it's a skull. I'm not sure, I'm going to sound really weird. The camera looks like it's, apologies for this. The camera looked like it was dirty, but there we go. Right, so it's got like a picture here which is like of a skull. So we are going to draw the skull right now. Um, so, start off with the nose. Um, I'm drawing the skull first just so I can get I guess like an idea where all the writing goes because I want it to um I don't want to put the writing in and then like kind of not be able to fit the skull in That's my I'm tapping my phone next to me just said just because I've got the picture up on my phone it makes it I like just like seeing the actual picture next to me. Also if I can see the picture because I've written my notes out to the right of me, but um obviously I've just done really scruffy rough drawings that look absolutely horrendous. It's just so much easier just to be like that's where the skull goes, etc. So Oh, I've done that in the wrong place. Where are oh. Yeah, I can't really just actually focus in properly. There we go. Yeah, put the light on and then that hopefully will help it focus.
correct. So that is my skull. Um, I'm kind of happy with that, to be honest, especially as like, I'm so tired right now. And I said, I was quite impressed it came out okay, like, first of all. Like, I feel like he needs to have... My, my skull is a he. Needs to have a bigger back part of his skull. To balance him out. There you go. I think that's a lot better. Balanced him out a bit, haven't we? So obviously, his little nose like hole needs to be shaded in, and then we can go ahead and do him an eye socket. And obviously the eye socket needs to be shaded in as well. So I think our skull looks pretty good. And then what we need to do is you need to do some lines in the bottom of his lip. Kind of, I guess, where his teeth would be. And then in the bottom of his lip as well. But I'm kind of just going in between the gaps from the one above. <laughs> You don't have to, you can do it that way. And um, this bit here is part of the jawline, so um, that needs to be shaded in, because that would be like a, a gap. And then obviously just do a little bit of shading, so I'm just gonna do, you've got some lines that go across there. Um, so just do some hatching, which is just straight line shading. And we're gonna do some cross hatching in this section here, which is when you do, lines one way and then lines another way to kind of shade because you're crossing the lines oh itchy so yeah and then we're going to do it at the top here as well he's basically just got kind of like a little bit of a shadow And you can go over it a few times as well. You don't have to worry about it. But it doesn't have to be dead neat as well. Um, when you're doing it, it, it said it is supposed to be someone's like scrapbook. That's where I look at it. Like it's his notebook. So, it, you know, if it's a little bit messy, then it's fine. So that is that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to get my fine line black pen. And I'm going to write fig, which is short for figure and a capital B there. So now what we are going to do is, what do I want? I want my red fine line. So this is just a plain red fine line pen. Okay, it's got kind of like a, oops. I'm trying to do this being helpful, but I'm, this is where I'm being a tick because I'm so tired. So it's just a really f simple fine line pen. Um, so what we're gonna do is, it's got a little bit, a little bit up here. Oh, it helps if I move the blooming book down, doesn't it? So you've got a few bits up here, but they're in red, fine line. So it's kind of like a little. It's like mountains. That's the best way to describe it. So you've got one mountain there, and then you've got like another that leads off from here, from him. The mountains now him, and you've got another one and another li little mountain, and then you've got just to the right. A big mountain another little mountain and I, I'm gonna say that's like the Sun or the moon just next to that Um, over here you've got an X is in X marks the spot and just do a little bit of like little lines leading to it so over back over to the left hand side there is a couple of lines that go there and basically these lines go like this off the screen, off the side of the book. And then we've got some like squiggly lines. So I'm gonna do this really fast and then show you because it's a lot, I think it'll be a lot easier. So 
So they're like the kind of squiggly lines you've got. And then just follow the footprints back down like so. And then you just need one more little bit over in this top right hand corner. And really randomly, you need to write in cap kind of like cap locks, bold letters, return. Return library book exclamation point and then underneath do six slash eleven. So and um, that oh, I just stubbed my tire. <laughs> this is where I'm like I should be in bed. I should be sleeping. I like sleep. Sleep is good. It's like my favourite thing, pretty much. <laughs> So, hmm, right, what we're going to do first, I think, is the best option. So I'm going to get my black fine liner, and we've basically got, where's my ruler gone? I don't think I could, think I could find my little green ruler, could I, last time? I don't think I could. I don't know what I've done with the damn thing. I hate it when I do so. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. Hey, right. oh, I do apologise. I needed my reader. So what I'm going to quickly do is... I think... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Just quickly, and you, you don't really have to do this, I'm just being a bit specific. I'm doing it for a reason because I said there's supposed to be some writing kind of like up the top. And then there's obviously some more way. But I find it better to do this, obviously, and like kind of rub some lines out and get it right. So we're going to write this on the lines, so I just want to double check something. Right, so we're just going to, I'm just going to write some bits here like I normally do and then I'll tell you what it says, okay?
Right, bear with me. Right, so this bit here reads this. Wanders around the Gravity Falls countryside. These creatures usually attract lame girls with cute sweaters and sparkles on them. The creatures will gain the girls' trust and when they are alone, the zombies will feed on their... And then I've just written something random here because this is going to be scribbled out, which I'm just about to do. So I just wrote, brains, so many brains, nah, not much at all. And then underneath is her brains turning her, and this bit is to be scribbled out too. So I just wrote, even more stupid exclamation point. Underneath into a zombie so those bits were meant to be crossed out obviously i can't tell what they say because from the original book because they're crossed out so i just make my own stuff up and then cross that out on those bits so i just need to double check something so i'm gonna put that down i need my red fine line pen and what we're gonna do is we're gonna write you need we need to do three question marks over here in oh, sugar sorry in three question marks over here and then we need to do oh just up here we're gonna put so it says a skull sample and in brackets don't ask so they are in red Right, so we're going to write the, some more bits down here. So I need to make sure I leave enough room to do the bottom bit. So.
Right, so this bit here actually reads, and what we need to do is we need to get a red pen and we're going to put a red line through the top two lines. Right, so this reads, but still zombies are dumb, so do not worry. A zombie's lust is quite simple, really. They are illuminations. They fe feed on people's flesh. And then this needs to be crossed out, but I've just written this extra bit, so it's and bones until all gone. So I'm just going to go up to... So I've just got that from and and to gone. But sometimes a fancy cup of tea would be most enjoyable. So that is that bit. Then what we need to do is... Over here we need to write... So over here we've written zombies. Is that even a word? Question mark. And there's two question mark, bigger question marks next to it as well. So then the last thing we need to do on this page is this little bottom pattern here. So I'm going to start off with my red uh, fine liner, sorry. And you need to draw a circle. This is like one of those stamps that we always draw. It just needs to be a bit smaller, so I'm not drawing around my sharpener like normal. So you've got that there. Then, Lee, yeah, I'm right. You've got a little triangle here, and this is in red as well. Then we need to put this away and swap to our black fine line that I really don't want, and I'm going to flick over the floor. But yeah, the black fine line. And we've just got a little bit of bit to do here. So that's my clock, in case you're, you've never heard the clock before. If you're new to the channel. My other clock will go off in a minute. It's like a cuckoo clock. So this one reminds me of it's like a laying down stick man.
so I know I've used Aruda in some parts but some parts you know I just felt like I needed to and um, you don't have to use a ruler if you don't want to And then it's like a little upside down. Oh. So, that is our right hand page complete. So, we'll put that there. So, that's what we have done together right now. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. right now well harder than the right hand page anyway so we need to I'm gonna start off with my pencil actually so first thing I'm actually gonna do is write the undead it's quite fancy kind of writing and I'm doing it in pencil first of all and I'm gonna go over this in um, Mm, more like my black fine line I think I think that's probably the best option I don't feel like I've done that U big enough. how I'm going to write that because I believe that's how it's like in the book um so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get my sharpener like I normally do and I'm actually going to draw oh here cups get my where have I put them there we are so get my red felt tips Ooh. and my pencil I'm actually going to draw around this going to draw another circle inside that circle and then I'm going to get my ruler actually because it's like 
there's like a triangle inside the second circle. And there's a triangle inside the triangle. And then there's two lines on that side, one line on that side, and four lines there. Okay, and then you've got like an eye. And you've got four squiggly lines and then two squiggly lines and then you've got a backwards E what are you doing? <laughs> sorry, bear with me two seconds I get what you're doing <laughs> sorry mm. that loud. Um. Oh, I see what you're doing now. Well, right. so apologies. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to quickly go over the title. So that's our top bit. We just need to write the other bit. You just like pick four of the tubes in. So I'm just gonna go around.
Right. So that is that bit done. What I'm going to do is get a red fine line first of all. And what we need to do is go over here and we need to continue this drawing on that we did with the like the mountains. So you do, we're going to do one peak and another peak. And over here you've got a cluster of three. Then you've got your zigzaggies on both sides and then from here this one just goes down here and joins up to that line there so basically it's like a little map that goes across both pages so again I apologize I put a couple of things on gum tree so um, Right, so I have an itchy, blooming leg. Oh, sometimes scratching your leg is just like amazing. Uh, so what I am going to actually do quickly is I'm going to take my red felt tip and I'm just going to go over, I call it a stamp. I think it's like one of those old fashioned, it looks to me like those old fashioned stamps, you know, that they'd almost seal the letters with. I literally hear my cat snoring from like the other room. So that is that bit done, which is good. So what we're going to do, I think first, is I'm gonna get my red felt tip again, and I'm gonna draw an eye here. And then a triangle with a dot in the middle and then we need to draw here is going to be the undead what creature um,
So I'm going to do this in pencil. I don't really draw in pen. Um, I'm going to go on to my picture. So I think I'm going to start with his eyeball. So this is quite a big picture. It kind of fills quite a lot of the, of the space. I'm not happy that way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hmm, he's about there actually. Apologies. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> right. So. And yeah, we need to do his kind of It's kind of weird because it's kind of got this weird little kind of glow around it. It's got obviously gangly.
he's looking too bad. A little zombie at the moment. Obviously, he still needs a little bit of work. A bit of love and work. I think it needs to be longer actually, doesn't it? Mm, that looks better. It kind of looks like wings, but I suppose it's, it's, it's like a rib cage. I assume that's what it looks like to me in the picture. So it gradually coming together, and then he's got a bit there, and he's hunched back. Going to his legs, I'm going to fidget. I'll do two seconds and then check something. I feel like I need to do his other hand, really.
feel like well, that needs to go there and that needs to come away so I feel like this bit needs to be bigger I feel like I've given him two skinnier arms and features in the middle so So I think that's better. I think it just that fits the character a little bit better. I also think I need to make his head go rounder and higher. So I think that actually looks a bit better now though. Obviously, as I said, you can obviously chip. That's why I kind of um, always do it in pencil because then I can like rub it out. And his leg needs to be about that close to him. First of all then I need to say he's got kind of like a glow so I'm just going to draw a really thin kind of outline around him and it goes to about here and then it's kind of on this side here. So yeah what I'm going to do now is just move this so I can do it a bit better. gonna colour things in obviously shade them in pretty much so and it's like this drawing is quite messy so it doesn't matter too much if it gets a little bit messy
So he's got a bit longer legs, I feel. And then he is actually um, it's better. Right, so he's actually treading in mud, so. I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, this is like a tombstone over here that's like a crucifix or a cross. So we've got our little cross there. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, so you've got kind of like just dirt, so. And then the last thing is we've got some trees in the background.
So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to do one tree up here. So that is our ouch undead zombie. Just caught my finger. Um, what we just need to do now is write a few little bits in a few different places. So I've got my fine line black pen, which I'm going to write here. So here is written, hoodies are a must, and a must is scribbled out, which is that bit, in for zombies, black scribbled out, grey ones, exclamation mark. Then we're going to go over here, and you need to first of all write creatures. Hashtag six. So this bit here reads, un, oh sorry, known for their pale skin and bad attitudes, these creatures are often mistaken for teenagers. Beware of the Gravity Falls resident zombies. So now we've got a bit that needs to be written here. Um, so first of all, what I am actually going to do is you need to do... Yeah, I'm going to keep my black pen. So over this right hand bottom corner, you need to do a triangle with a circle, a dot in it. And then, kind of reminds me of a bit of a pitchfork. And then it's got like this little squiggly line. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my red fine line and I'm going to write here, bottom left.
So this bit reads, these creatures might have dangerous and fierce looks. <laughs> then I'm gonna get my black fine line and you're gonna to, got to do like an X over here. So again, it's like an X marks the spot. Then I'm gonna get my red felt tip pen. And just along here, you're gonna write in kind of bold letters. extremely dangerous and then like three exclamation points but really kind of large ones and just kind of underline it as well so that is our undead the undead pages complete i think i do too bad since i said i was just like so exhausted um let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to hit that like button if this helped you or if you liked the video. If you did like the video, um, please consider subscribing. Uh, we have done the rest, most of the Gravity Falls book now. Um, book three, that is, which is Dipper's book. We will and are going through every single page and we do every Thursday. So if you wanted to join us next week, you obviously can join us next week for the next pages. If you do leave me a comment down below, I do make sure I reply to all my comments. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I apologise for the slight kind of interruptions as well. I just had to answer a few text messages which was I don't normally do. But I do apologise. But I will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.